Insurance Homestead here. Today, we're going to talk about how to sell your chicken eggs. First thing and foremost, on your, la on your labels for your cartons, you have to have your name, your address, state, zip code, phone number, and most important, safe handling rules. I'll post a picture of this right here, which is a blow up of a sample of my labels. So, let's talk about the safe handling. Safe handling your customers have to know how to safe handle your farm fresh eggs. That has to be listed on your label or somewhere on the cart. Also, any information you give your customers about your eggs has to be the safety labels or the safety instructions in there somewhere. Uh, if you watched our video yesterday, we show you how we sell our eggs uh, with a sign out front, a sign on the door, the fridge we keep them in, and how we go about that. So if you want to know how to do that, watch that video. Uh, when you collect your eggs and you bring them in, and you go to clean them. Now the way we do it is we look if the eggs dirty we have a damp cloth or a dry brush that we clean them off with. Anytime you use moisture if they're real your moisture or you run them under your water it takes off what they call the bloom. The bloom is a naturally formed protection on your eggs that the hen produces. So we try not to clean off our eggs if we don't have to. If we clean our eggs and we run them under the water because they're really dirty and there's any kind of staining of the eggshell. Those automatically get dis discarded and fed back to the chicken. Now if you sell duck eggs, duck eggs, no matter what you do, they're going to be dirty. Because in natural duck settings, they lay their egg, they roll it around with their feet, and try to camouflage it. That's the way ducks are. Everybody says they're a dirty bird. I agree. Now, on my label, I have it stated farm fresh eggs, as you, you will see. Uh, at the bottom, it has safe handling instructions. It has my phone number. Then I have a place for my logo break, our Frank Carey's Homestead logo, and I also have Please Return Carton. That way, if a customer comes back, they bring them an empty carton, you don't run out of cartons. Next and more and foremost in information is if you reuse a store carton. On the carton, there will be the name of the company. It will also say, like this one says, 18 fresh large eggs created double A. When you place your label on the carton, the label has to cover the name of the company. And also down here, 
where it says the grade of the eighth, you either cross that out or use your label to partial cover. Because on your label, it will, should say, I didn't put it on this, forgot that, sorry, ungraded. It has to be on the label somewhere, ungraded, or on the car carton, ungraded. Unless you're licensed to grade your eggs, you cannot put a grade on them. Make sure you check your state and local laws of selling farm fresh eggs. Here in the state of Idaho, all we have to do is place our label over the name on the carton, cross out or cover the grade of the egg, and it has to say ungraded. Also on the label, it has to have the safe handling instructions. That's all the states for the state of Idaho, unless you are selling over 3,000 eggs a day. If I had that many chickens, I wouldn't have time to do nothing. <coughs> so, now I buy my own cartons, um, a lot of them. I do reuse cartons. But these are the cartons that I use. The cheapest I found is from FlemingOutdoors.com. They're like 38 bucks for a hundred of them. They work good because I can put my label, it lays flat, and I don't have to do nothing else. Now for your information, if you're looking to buy eggs or if you're looking to sell your egg, I have a group on Facebook that's called Farm Fresh Eggs Buy and Sell. You can come join that group, ask to buy eggs or sell your eggs. Just put what state you're from, what town you're from, and People will get in touch with you if they're in your area. Uh, other members try to find people for people. Um, also, we have I have another group called the Eastern Idaho Chicken Group. That is a group for anybody that owns chickens, poultry, uh, that kind of stuff. Uh, we have 475 members and growing. Uh, the Farm Fresh Eggs group is growing. I think it's a little over 245, I think. I'm not positive on that one. Uh, I list my eggs for sale on our Facebook page, Frank Carey's Homestead. I list them in the Fresh Farm Eggs Buy and Sell group. I list my eggs in another group, which is a community group for where we live. I let people know how many 12 packs I have, how many 18 packs I have, how many packs of duck eggs I have, and the cost, and that I will deliver if they order over two dozen eggs. I have one customer that buys anywhere from 15 to 20 dozen eggs a week or every other week. Once you start building your customers, you will find that you will constantly bring in money. Uh, we have found that in the winter time, for some reason, the eggs will slow down. In the summertime, it goes up. Don't know why, uh, but that's the way it is here. Uh, if you need any more information, leave it in the comments below. I'll also have links below to the different groups, our homepage, and I will also put a link to Fleming Outdoors 
for the egg carton guard. Uh, but yeah, if you have any comments or questions, leave them in the, down below. Don't forget, ring that little bell and you'll get notified whenever we upload a new video. Hopefully this helps you and hopefully I've covered everything for you. Um, but don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to our channel. I'll be putting out more how-to videos. Uh, I'm going to put out a video of how to uh, float test your eggs and show you how that process goes. So that way you can tell how old your eggs are. Um, if you haven't ever seen it done, I'll show you how. If you have, then you can watch the video or not. So that's what I got for you today. Don't forget, smile today, smile tomorrow, and you're going to smile all week, guaranteed. Thanks for watching. Bye.